Hello and welcome everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn about how to extend WP GraphQL plugin and how to register new fields or types. When you're working for a decoupled project where you have WordPress in the back end and frontend could be using, for example, Next.js or Gatsby, uh, you may sometime need to extend the WP GraphQL and add the fields that don't exist by default. So for example, let's say you're building a WooCommerce site, okay? And let's say you're building the checkout page where you need to have the list of countries. And if you select a particular country, then you would like all of the states that belong to that particular country to be displayed. Now this data by default does not exist in WP GraphQL. And if you would like to go ahead and register your own fields to get the data from WordPress uh, with WooCommerce, then you can register your own fields. Let me show you how. So this is my headless CMS plugin. And um, I'm assuming that you already know how to create a plugin. And this plugin has a bunch of fields that it registers already. But for this demonstration purposes, I'm going to start with a new class. So I'm going to create a class and I'm going to name it as class register states. Okay. And then I'm just going to do class register states. And then I will also need to use namespace for now to save time. I'm going to copy this namespace and I'll paste it on top. Okay. And then I'm going to say use singleton because we are using a singleton approach. And if you don't know what that is, there is a separate tutorial which talks in depth about singleton and how to create one in my advanced WordPress theme development course. So you can check that out. And then we'll do construct method. And here we'll have protected, let's say function construct oops construct and inside of this we'll call our setup hook, for hook we will call our setup hook we will call our setup hook function so we'll say protected function setup hooks okay and then i'm just going to call this function here this setup hooks and I'm going to instantiate this class by going inside of the plugin directory and we can just say register shipping get instance. Okay. So we've got a class created and instantiated as well. The next thing we want to do is in order for us to register a particular field, we have a function available uh, in GraphQL. So make sure that you have WP GraphQL plugin already active in WordPress from WordPress dashboard. And you also have installed and activated the WooCommerce plugin. Okay. So this is your WP GraphQL plugin. Okay. So assuming that you have already done that, let's hook on to GraphQL register types hook. And I'm going to hook into this using my own custom function. And I'll call that function as register states fields. Okay. And then I'm going to create a function. Function register states fields. All right. I'm going to hide this. Next thing we're going to do is basically register a GraphQL object type. So I'm going to say register GraphQL object type. And this basically takes two parameters. One is the type name. So we'll call it as woo state. And the second is the fields in form of an array. So I'll say fields. And then I'll say state code. So I need state code. And that will be a type. And type will be string. OK. 
okay and then i'm also i also need state name and that will also be a type string okay once i've registered that state field i also need to register the states field so i'm going to again go ahead and copy this function paste it here and this will be woo states so this is going to contain all of your states so this is going to contain the single state information this will contain all of the state information okay all right uh, so that will be an array of fields again so let's say fields and that will be an array and this will contain states so states okay and the type of the state will be actually this one okay so we'll say type will be a list of because we want an array list of so i would like the array of states so array of this this particular object type all right perfect and then finally we need to register the graphql field so we have another function we'll call it register graphql field which is the third one from here and it takes certain parameters so the so it will be register graphql field and it takes a type name so type name will be root query and then is going to take what is the field name so field name will be Wu states you can give it whatever name you want i'm giving it Wu states okay okay next thing we need is an array of arguments this will contain descriptions so uh, i'll say description and translation function states at less cms so this will be your text domain next parameter will be the type so type will be your woo states okay and then if you would like to fetch all of the states that belong to a particular country uh, you can pass arguments also so you can use args and then this will take an array of argument so argument name will be country code i want to fetch all of the states that belong to a particular country code and this is going to take an array of the type so this type will be so type will be string okay and then this graphql field needs to resolve so whatever you're going to re return through this resolver function so this will take a function that's what's going to be returned as the data okay and you have certain parameters available in this uh, function first you have the source you have the arguments which is basically what do you pass in the query as arguments and then you have the context and then finally the info now i'm not going to discuss uh, these two basically or even the source uh, what we're interested is in is in this arguments okay so now let's take an empty array and let's just return this oops let's just return an array and this is going to return states because as you can see this particular field is of type woo states which is this and what is expecting it's expecting the states basically right so i'm going to say states and for now all i'm going to do is just return this state okay okay there's one correction we need to make we need to do register states over here instead of shipping okay and what we're going to do is we're going to head over to our wordpress dashboard and we'll go to graphql ide and I'm assuming that you've already installed the WP GraphQL. 
and once you head over to the GraphQL IDE, you'll notice that on the left hand side we have something called Woo states available. Isn't this, ama isn't this amazing? We just created the we just extended the WP GraphQL and created this Woo states. All right. And there you go. You can see that it's got a parameter also and it's got states. Okay.